Lewis is now the most successful Ferrari driver of all time, and Mercedes is ass. So as we look at this situation, from a macro level, we probably should have seen this coming between Lewis and Mercedes. I don't know. Something between the constant bickering between Toto and Lewis, and Lewis not being happy with the development of the car, kind of speaks volume, especially because it's been ongoing for the last few years. How excited is Netflix to have this drama unfolding in front of them? Grab your coffee for this one. Welcome to the Dad Bod Sports Show. The relationship between Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes has been deteriorating ever since the new regulations came out in the new car, and the car having zero side pads. Lewis was so pissed he didn't even know if he was going to sign his contract extension. Obviously, we know the story now. Lewis signs the contract and is expected to drive for Mercedes up until 2026 when the new regulations come into place. But clearly, enough was not reported on the opt-out option for the 2025 season. Now, Lewis heading into the season is going to have the most awkward breakup of all time with a year-long stint with Mercedes, which he will try to be as competitive as possible, leaving one toxic situation for possibly the most toxic situation in the F1, Ferrari. Which means now, Lewis Hamilton is the greatest Ferrari driver of all time. So what does Mercedes do now? They lose the best driver of all time, and now they have to put all of their eggs into the George Russell basket. Will it work out? I have my hesitations. Who's going to take Lewis's seat? It's pretty clear that Lewis Hamilton does not think Mercedes will be able to take him to another championship before the 2026 regulation changes. In his statement, he said that he's going to fulfill another lifelong dream with driving for a Ferrari. So is this Lewis's swan song heading out, and is he going to retire when the 2026 regulations come out? It's clear that Lewis thinks that this Ferrari is better than Mercedes will ever be able to be in the 2025 season, and it gives him the best opportunity to win the world championship again. Obviously, Lewis and Vasseur have a long relationship as Vasseur was Lewis's principal back in Formula 3. And you can tell for the last few years, especially the radio calls and the interviews, Lewis talking about how unhappy he was with Mercedes, that he wanted more collaboration in the development of the car. It didn't seem that Mercedes really cared about what Lewis was saying about how the car was performing. All the press conferences from especially Toto Wolff kind of just came off as shut up Lewis, get in the car and drive it. Toto has also talked about the shortcomings of the car, but it was clear that he didn't know how upset Lewis Hamilton was about the situation. Let's be real, Toto Wolff is a freaking Terminator. He's a robot and seems to have the relationship building skills of an egg. The only thing that makes sense to me about this move is A, obviously Lewis wanted to do this because it was a dream of his to drive in that Ferrari Red, but Vasseur had to have promised more collaboration for the development of the car with Lewis. Ferrari must think that their car is right there and that Lewis is a better option than Carlos Sainz moving forward and that with this car, Lewis can take the team over the edge, whether it be Leclerc taking the championship or Lewis. We know Lewis is obviously going to go for it and that's why he's joining Ferrari and Ferrari has to believe with Lewis in the car, it gives them a real shot to win the Constructors' Championship as well. More recent articles have come out. Diving deep into Lewis's contract has triggered a non-poaching clause in the contract, meaning Ferrari has no ability to go after any Mercedes staff for the 2025 season. It'll be difficult for Lewis with Ferrari for a little bit just because Ferrari is an Italian-speaking team. Ferrari will take care of that issue. There won't be any problems there. But that is huge that Lewis will have no familiar faces in the paddock with him from Mercedes. Now, what this signing does for Ferrari is boost their market cap exponentially. News came out as soon as Lewis said that he was signing with Ferrari. The company's market value went up $7 billion. And here's where my concern comes in for Lewis with Ferrari. We've seen in Drive to Survive and all through the past how Ferrari likes to dictate how the drivers present themselves. Lewis is now the brand. Ferrari is now Lewis Hamilton. Ferrari is not bigger than Lewis Hamilton. And the higher ups at Ferrari are going to have to figure that out very quickly. So a few things seem very clear to me. Lewis is now the most successful Ferrari driver of all time. And Mercedes is ass. Which brings us to a huge question. Who is going to be in that Mercedes seat going into the 2025 season? This is not what I think is going to happen. This is what I personally want to happen. I think Alex Albon has shown enough skill for him to take that second seat going into the 2025 season and being a teammate to George Russell. So my pick for that seat is going to be Alex Albon. Now obviously we know that Toto and Val down at Williams both have a great relationship with Mick Schumacher, so I see Mick Schumacher taking that Williams seat. Moving away from Mercedes for a second, it is very clear Red Bull wants to move on from Sergio Perez after the 2024 season. Rumors of contracts have already been sent to Carlos Sainz and Alex Albon, so we don't know who's actually going to take a seat. That news is gutting, obviously, to Daniel Ricciardo and Yuki Tsunoda and Liam Lawson. I see Carlos Sainz in that Red Bull seat for the 2025 season. I don't know why, 
I just think he's going to come home and try to be a rear gunner to Max. Thanks for everybody checking out the Dad Bod Sports Show. Make sure to subscribe. How successful is Lewis going to be in the Ferrari? And how unsuccessful is Mercedes going to be in the 2024-25 season? Let me know. See you guys in the next video.